Hey guys, welcome back. I'm here at Zion National Park. Uh, it's my first time coming. Pretty excited. I brought my 4x5 and that's it. Um, the only thing I brought with that is Ilford Delta 100 and I've got 25 sheets so I can see what I can uh, capture down here. So, found this pretty cool spot. It was called um, Canyon Overlook, I believe, and a pretty short hike. Um, I'm sure you can tell it's super windy, but I've got my view camera set up here. I was kind of racing against the light, and it was getting pretty dark, um, pretty quick. Um, very windy, I actually almost tipped it over the cliff. <laughs> I uh, caught it just in time and tried to brace my legs a little bit at this time. Um, I'll take one or two exposures and see what I got. First one I did have a, a neutral, graduated neutral den density filter. Graduated neutral density filter. And um, that allows a little bit of uh, darkness in the sky without affecting the, the foreground or middle ground too much. Um, it's getting pretty dark. I'll probably take another exposure pretty quick and uh, hike back to my car for the night and call it a night. Here, take a look. Right now I'm doing a one minute exposure. Just got a few more seconds left and uh, we'll see how that looks up. slide back in. Alright guys, it's day two in Zion. I hiked up to Angel's Landing um, and took the path away from it. So right now I can see the cliffside along Angel's Landing and the Virgin River along the base down there. The uh, sun came up about an hour or two ago, so I got my view camera set up here and uh, I'm going to dial in my composition and see what I can get.
All right, I got my composition set up pretty good. I switched it over to portrait. Um, I'm liking that a lot more, being able to get way down in the valley to get the river, as well as the top of the cliff face. So right now I'm just uh, waiting for the light to get a little bit better and uh, hopefully get a little more light on that further cliff face. Um, so just waiting for that right now until I take my exposures. I was walking on this path over there and saw this view that I had to come over here and uh, take a look at. That's got these rocks that I put in the foreground and then you got these giant cliffs going off into the, the distance in the background. And uh, a little bit closer than those rocks is this, this grass. And I love the way that it's um, blowing with the wind. It's pretty windy out here. So uh, I'll do a little long exposure of one or two seconds and hopefully get some movements in the, the grass. Oh, right now I'm just going to take some meter readings and uh, I've already got my composition dialed in so I'll see how long I need to do my exposure for. I'm going to set up with my, uh, my filters. It's a bit of the sky up there so Definitely gonna do red filter. I'm not quite sure about the gradient filter. I decided to go with the 150 lens to uh, add a little bit of compression. I didn't want those rocks to be too far away. Because the cliffs are pretty high and the sky goes a lot lower on the, the right side of the image, I'm not going to do the gradient filter. Gradient filter. Um, so I'm just going to do the red filter and hopefully give a nice even uh, gray or darkness to the sky overall instead of just a, a little bit on the top. I don't want to put the gradient filter on and affect some of the cliff side up on the very top of the image. So that's what I'm going with. Got to dust off the filters. These are uh, like a plexiglass resin, I think, and they track a lot of dust, unfortunately. All right, right here, we've got a pretty difficult exposure. I really like the look of this valley, but the sun is setting right in the middle of those two mountains. So I've uh, got to figure out how I want to expose this. I'm thinking about maybe just metering for the ground or uh, still trying to get a little bit of detail inside the mountains. Uh, I'm not quite sure just yet. I'm gonna play around with the exposures and see what they look like. Alright, I took my last exposure for the day. I hung out here for another hour or so and the sun went behind that, uh, that face on the right which allowed me to put my red filter on because I'm not getting any sun glare on my lens. And that also cast a shadow over the whole valley that left a pretty similar tonal range over the whole thing. I shot it at 4 seconds at uh, f64 and I also am going to pull it by 2 stops as well just to hopefully get some uh, tonal range in the sky. Um, but overall this is a pretty awesome spot, I'm glad I stuck it out. Now this photograph has to be one of my favorites from the trip. I love the way that the sun set just behind the cliff 
and allowed a bright ray of light to cast in between the gap. As the sun disappeared, it left a beautiful soft light over the valley that allowed me to get a nice exposure and emphasized the delicacy of the place I had been exploring. Thank you guys so much for watching and checking out my channel. If you liked any of these photographs, they'll all be listed on my website and linked in my store below. I've got another episode coming out where I go to Horseshoe Bend and Bryce Canyon. So feel free to tune in, subscribe, and check that out when it comes out. Thanks for watching. See ya.